How to use the Chattanooga Vector Genesis for applying interferential or IFC. Okay, now we're going to be doing interferential on the Chattanooga's Vectra Genesis. <clears throat> what you need to do is choose electrotherapy and then you need to choose the interferential button. Don't choose those, just choose the edit button, it goes right to it. Next, you'll set everything the way you always do, low amount of beats and high amount of beats, so 80, 120 would be good for fatiguing, this is a little bit set high, but you could set it to anything, you can go all the way down to 1, so you could set it for, you know, as if you're doing myofascial adhesions, 1 to 10. You will set a vector scan, and I suggest that you set it not to manual, because if you look at manual, it actually shows this little diagram here. And what happens is, if you have it more go to one channel, it will actually have more energy to one channel. But generally, the vector scan, the concept is it's a vector scan. It has a sweeping effect, like windshield wipers going across the whole area of treatment. So the best choice would be to do vector scan 40%. What that means is if you set it up to, let's say, 1, which would be somebody, nobody could feel that, but any 1 volt CV. If I set it there and I hit start, you'll see these numbers will go up and down. And they'll go down no lower than 0.6 because it's 40% of 1. So that's how vector scan works. It's an amplitude modulation. That's how the vector scan works. So I'm going to hit stop on that, start new treatment. So everything, I'm not really setting much because I'm not dealing with the frequency. I want to talk about the pad placement. It's the same as it ever is. Basically, you're going to have this, these pads set up. I'm going to pretend this pen here is the spine. And you don't have to worry about the red and black anymore. In this case, the gray lead goes to channel number one right here. And the black lead comes out of channel number two right here. And so I have it set up so the gray and the gray are going to channel one. And then the black and the black are going to channel number two. Don't worry about the reds and the blacks. Uh, you turn up the intensity, get to patient's tolerance. And when you hit the actual start button, that's when it will start the vector scan. So make sure you set your intensity to where they want it before you hit your start button because it's going to go down and if you need to change the intensity midstream it's going to be a little weird because look how all this is these numbers are going off and off and off I don't know how I'm affecting stuff as I change this okay that's it